your name here? Yeah, put the drink down. Thank you very much. Very there warm moment. What's your name? Mike. Your name, your name is Mike Lamoy. From Hamilton. From Hamilton. Apparently, Mike has a very, very important question to ask this young lady or this young lady. All righty. Come on in Mike. here. All right, go ahead. This young lady. Right here. In 1998, I'd like to ask you to marry me, Cheryl. Marriage oh, proposal! I can't believe this! Cheryl Shepard was reported missing to the Hamilton Police Service by her mother, Odette Fisher, on January 5th, 1998. She was last seen by her boyfriend, Michael Lavoy, on January 2nd, 1998. Cheryl had been living with her boyfriend, Michael Lavoy, at her mother's apartment located on Queenston Road in Hamilton. Mike told Cheryl's mom that he dropped her off at an adult entertainment club in Niagara Falls and hadn't seen or heard from her since then. Detectives followed up on that information and checked every adult entertainment club in Niagara Falls. No one had seen a girl matching Cheryl's description. When police went to the apartment, they became concerned with what they found. All of Cheryl's clothing was still in the apartment. Her wallet was still there. It was as if she left with nothing. There were other things that concerned detectives as well. Bed sheets were missing from their bed. Glass was missing from a picture frame above their bed. Some broken glass was found in a box on the balcony. And curtains in the living room appeared damaged. The Hamilton Police Homicide Unit still has carriage of this investigation and believes Cheryl Shepard is the victim of foul play. We are asking anyone with information to come forward and assist us with this police investigation. I was the initial detective sergeant assigned the investigation into the disappearance of Cheryl Shepard. It's been 25 years since anyone has seen Cheryl and this case still sticks with me. We know there's someone out there that knows what happened to Cheryl. All these years later, I still think about Cheryl and what might have happened to her. We know there is someone out there that knows what happened to Cheryl. With time and distance, my hope is someone is now willing to come forward. Cheryl's family deserves some answers and to know what happened to her.